Good morning and hello, I'm Professor Cohen. This is the Forex Supermodel Racing Review and Forex Briefing for uh, Tuesday the 3rd of January 2023. Yesterday we were at, we were at on National Hunt 345. We had to go at two horses. We used one as a break-even hedge uh, or near break-even hedge. Um, this, uh, what was it, uh, number one, this uh, uh, Escape and Evade, which won at 11 to 10. We got uh, 5 to 4, 1.25 on it. We have £1.60 per eight pound units, that's £160. Um, and uh, we also uh, sort of weighed in a bit on this, uh, uh, the second horse, which was 5 to 1, uh, Operation Overlord, uh, which we had £2.40 per eight pound unit, so £240. 160 plus 240 uh, is uh, 400 or £4, pounds, uh, and we had uh, 0.38 uh, um, loss, uh, so £38 pound loss on that because it was just slightly marginally less than break even with a 0.5 half a unit exposure. So that went pretty well. Uh, we couldn't really just uh, uh, just bet the uh, escape and evade, which we thought was probably going to win if you look at our video yesterday. But this one had a good shout, we thought, uh, as well. So uh, and it ran reasonably well. So uh, that was that. Right, today, a uh, little bit more involved. We've got racing on the third then. Uh, we're at Wolverhampton on the weather this evening, 7 o'clock, 1900. Uh, it's a handicap class 5, 5 further than 21 yards, 3 year old 0.75, model 97, so it's uh, medium quick, <coughs> Wolverhampton, a little bit, little bit slower than obviously Lingfield and um, uh, Chelmsford uh, and uh, Dundalk uh, at the distance. So uh, it sort of carves up the, uh, the top three in the weights, uh, numbers 1, 2 and 3 are the ones we're looking at. Um, number 1, uh, Waki Umi, uh, 6 to 4, um, that's... Just grab this. That's a sort of front running horse, come over from Ireland, it's one here, uh, and it's a, it's a sort of a pretty gutsy front running horse, uh, and you can't discount it really. Uh, so we've got a pound per eight pound unit on at six to four, uh, uh, so 100 pounds on at six to four really. But the ones we really like uh, to, to uh, generate the profits are number two, uh, Confederation, which is about nine to one. Uh, and carry out angel which is six to one uh, and we've got a uh, pound per eight pound unit on both of those uh, confederation 12 and a half to one uh, which is pretty good and 8.2 to one on um, on this carry out angel the over round is about 104 percent at the moment so they may change but uh, we've just done that anyway to uh, to get it out of the way because we're busy uh, doing forex today um Three pound per eight pound unit, so uh, three hundred pounds on for us. Uh, spread over three horses, seven in the race, uh, and 0.375 exposure. So we'll see how that goes. We would anticipate one of these two uh, uh, winning. Uh, Confederation uh, is, is bang there at the distance. If you look at its previous races, uh, and Carried Angel has had some easy trips, but it sort of ramps up and has a good. Uh, it's a it's a class A mover. Uh, a grade mover, so uh, it's got potential as well and uh, decent odds. So we'll see how we go with that. So uh, let's uh, let's just make some room now for our forex. Um, we're starting the new year then. Um, so what's going on? Um, let's just get some room. We're looking at um, so this is forex. We're looking at 1300 today is the trigger data, which is uh, German uh, tier one, uh, what is it, uh, PMI purchasing manager index data, uh, sorry, CPI. Uh, got ahead of myself there, CPI, uh, um, consumer price index. Now, now yesterday. Uh, which is where the confusion was there. So yesterday we had German uh, PMI, which is Purchasing Managers Index, which is a which is a sort of um, a measure of uh, um, the price changes of inputs into uh, German manufacturing, uh, and that was just came in soft. Um, so so you so that sort of set the tone a little bit. You had a, you had a, so you had a weakening euro. Uh, uh, off the back of that. Now, the one we're looking at is the Euro Yen uh, and the buy order today, uh, just prior to the 1300. Now, the Euro Yen, what do we know about the Euro Yen? Well, it's, uh, it's got model volatility of 250 uh, compared to 400, uh, and that gives you about 63% volatility uh, on our scale. So it's, it, it's above half, not mad. 
but it will go a bit. Uh, right, why are we looking at the Euro Yen? Well, the, um, the Euro, if you look at the ECB, very hawkish at the moment. Um, Euro is hawkish. Uh, uh, and the Yen has had this YCC issue. A yield curve, yield curve control, if I could speak. Uh, and the, uh, the Bank of Japan, uh, before Christmas, messed about with its yield curve control on, uh, on the 30-year uh, bond and sent the yen soaring up you know, uh, and, but, but they're sort of talking in two directions they're talking about keeping a uh, um, loose monetary policy which means low interest rates but they're also talking about yield curve control and racking up their, um, their um, uh, targets for yield curve above 2% so, so this is why you've got the, the yen strength now uh, we've got the Fed minutes tomorrow. Now, the likelihood, uh, well, we don't know, but uh, um, uh, the Fed is likely to be, uh, the view is likely to be a bit dovish, so it's soft. So FOMC, uh, it may not be, but, but this is the market uh, view. So it's dovish, so you're looking at a, a weaker dollar. Um, and if you get a weaker dollar, you may get equities front running uh, today uh, off the back of that um, uh buy the rumour, sell the fat type thing. So you might get a pump in equities, and if you get a pump in equities, this is going to put down the pressure on the yen, uh, which is already uh, strong. Uh, and, uh, and if you get uh, uh, an, an unexpected uh, pump in uh, consumer price index, and, and there's a good chance of that, because uh, obviously the uh, ECB are well aware of the data uh, before uh, it's um, uh, given out to uh, us peasants. So, uh, so you might see uh, upward pressure in the euro, downward pressure in the yen off the back of uh, the equity transmission uh, and you might see a good bounce there. So that's what we're trying to trade today at about 1300. We're trying to trade that scenario. So uh, we'll, we'll be sticking our orders in just above the market uh, at about uh, five minutes before the off. So that's, uh, that's that. So right, uh, good luck if you have a, have a go at that. So uh, just to recap then, yesterday we got our break, break even hedge in and uh, our other horse came second. Uh, today we're, we're having a go at three horses at um, wherever it is, uh, Wolverhampton, seven o'clock this evening. And we're gonna do a buy order uh, for a bounce trade on the Euro Yen at about uh, half past, uh, sorry, one o'clock um, GMT our time. So uh, anyway, see how that goes, it's, uh, it's getting busier. Uh, and uh, hopefully we'll get some uh, some some action. So uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And goodbye.